Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC12 in Salt Lake City. We're here at the Solar Flare booth with Russell. Russell, I, I just want to start at the beginning because who is Solar Flare and who do you help? Well, Solar Flare is one of the leading suppliers of low latency Ethernet. We make 10 gigabit server adapters. We primarily have been serving the financial markets. We run the New York Stock Exchange, the Chicago Board of Options, NASDAQ, many other big commercial banks. We have about uh, 600 financial services customers right now leading, leading that market. Now we're expanding our product offering into cloud, big data, HPC. Uh, last year, as you recall, when we did this interview, we uh, announced a record-breaking performance on Ethernet with the MPI platform. So I want to ask you what's going on at SC12 with you guys, but first I got to ask this. Isn't all Ethernet created equal? Um, well, certainly there's a, there, there's a lot of support for Ethernet as a standard, but there are different ways to do Ethernet and ways to do it more efficiently, uh, ways to do it where you can get a lot better performance out of it, uh, and ways to make it much more easy to adopt those performance enhancements. And that's what SolarFlare focuses on. We, we concentrated building uh, a high performance fabric and with low latency, low latency jitter and so forth, but with the, always, always with the goal towards making it very easy to adopt. Okay, okay, so you, you have this added value with performance, that's what SE12 is all about, but what's going on at the show, what's new with Solar Flare? Well, uh, just recently here in the first quarter, we announced a very exciting new product uh, shown here behind me on the on the screen here called the AOE, the Application Onload Engine. Uh, and uh, as you can tell from our t-shirt from the show, we'll give you one minute to leave, it's sort of the ultimate mashup between a 10 gigabit server adapter and an FPGA, a very high performance FPGA. And it sits between uh, our controller and the wire. So it's sort of a bump on the wire architecture. And uh, by putting code into that FPGA, we can pre-process, uh, we can post-process, we can fully process data um, in, in a much more scalable fashion than, than what we can do in a server. Servers are get, getting kind of limited. So Intel's kind of running a little bit out of, out of gas on getting CPU speeds up. Uh, so what are we doing? We're adding more cores. Uh, great as long as your application is parallelizable and scalable that way. If it's not, you need some single-threaded execution speed and the ability to get that, that kind of uh, compute performance. So the AOE is really an, a, a very simple way of driving customized compute into the market. We're doing that both in the financial markets and then also here at HPC. So if I got this straight, you have a NIC, a network interface card, yeah. that does the computation, I mean, data has to go through the thing anyway to That's get right. out and talk, but you're, you're running application, you're crunching the data there while it's going through and, and spitting it out from there. Is that right? That's, that's exactly right. We can do that crunching at 10 gigabit speeds, right, on the fly. We can, we can analyze that data, we can do deep packet inspection on that data, we can do mathematical calculations on that data, and for instance, in the financial markets, we can arbitrate between different market feeds. We can uh, filter symbols that, that they might be interested. In the security market, we can build uh, all kinds of security rules for threat detection uh, and intrusion detection. So this isn't just uh, a theory. I mean, you guys are shipping this. This is working out there we, in Wall Street, shipping. places like that. Yeah. Yes, we are. We've, we've been uh, shipping it since the second quarter, and uh, we have uh, quite a revenue ramp uh, to hit uh, with the AOE. It's been, it's been very well received. And once again, for some of the same reasons that I talked about in our 10 gig technology is, we've made this very easy to adopt. FPGAs aren't a new thing, obviously, uh, but once you take an FPGA and you want to put it on a card, on a board, and then stick it in a server, you create a headache for yourself. That headache is, I've got to write drivers, I've got to figure out how to manufacture a board, and I have to figure out how to bring up 10 gig links, and I have to do all these things. We take care of all of that for you. In fact, the programming model for the AOE, if you just stick it in a server, it looks just like one of our NICs. It runs our open onload bypass technology, runs our Apple drivers, Windows drivers, Linux drivers, BSD, you name it, doesn't matter, until you turn on that FPGA and then it does something unique. And so the programming interface to the board is, is through normal sockets calls. 
And uh, that makes getting, we take care of all of the boring bits around the infrastructure. We bring up the links, we take care of the memory controllers, all of that work is done. So now folks that have code that they would like to take from a C program into RTL inside that FPGA have a very simple platform to do that. Uh, we provide a firmware development kit, lets the customers uh, combine with Altera's Quartus tools, gives them a, a, a great development environment to be able to get their application into that high-speed uh, AOE in, in a hurry. So Russ, I, I got to ask, this kind of new paradigm is very exciting, but how hard is it to you know, get on board and kick the tires on this and see if it's right for my application? Well, we're making it uh, pretty easy. We've uh, got a bunch of different programs in place, and we're, we're going to market with the AOE in three different ways. The first way are, are solar flared developed apps, apps that we've learned to develop by working closely with the financial community. Things like line arbitration and symbol filtering and so forth are ones that we know how to do go do and we're going to deliver those to the market. In fact, we deliver those this quarter uh, to the market. Um, the second is customer developed apps. So we're providing tools for them, like the, I mentioned the FDK, um, as well as uh, combining it with the Altera Quartus tools and an API that they can just bring up the product very quickly. A third, a third party developed app. So think of it a little bit like the SolarFlare App Store, where there are you know, thousands of different companies and uh, maybe uh, graduate students or wherever that are developing apps that, that work inside the AOE. In every market, whether it's big data, whether it's uh, the HPC market or the financial markets. And so yesterday we announced the SolarFlare University program. And uh, we're encouraging all of uh, the universities that, that have computer engineering, computer science, electrical engineering programs um, uh, to get involved in de developing applications. And so as an incentive, uh, we're offering uh, some prize money, uh, $10,000 for the best uh, written app, uh, $5,000 for the best white public white paper published, $2,500 for the best uh, presentation from uh, a grad student, $2,500 from the best presentation from uh, an undergrad student. And uh, so uh, it's been received very favorably. We did a press announcement with the Clemson folks who are on board. They're building a security app into the AOE.